And this is what we got. I am Oz. I am Oz. Justin, give me back my hat! Justin. <laughs> Mr. Lee keeps asking me, what is justice? I have been trying to figure that out for the past four years. Thankfully, I'm graduating. <laughs> Guys, get backstage. The audience is going to be here any... They're here. <laughs> They're here! They're here! They're here. Small to scare 
want to be a scarecrow. I may look happy, and I often am. But here's the thing. I'm stuffed with straw, and it itches. Go, go! Shoo, shoo! <laughs> the itching isn't the worst part. I'm even used to it now. The real problem is, I'm going to go all day sitting in the hot sun. Uh, uh, uh. Scaring the crows doesn't take too much of my time because nothing I do scares them. <coughs> nothing to do, nobody to talk to, nothing. I mean, have you ever tried talking to a crow? I asked one of them one time why he's not scared of me, and he said, They made a straw. See? No point of doing this now. If only. Hey! Oh! Hey! Are you waving at me? Hello! You can talk? Certainly. How do you do? Very fine, thank you. How do you do? So great you asked. I'm actually not so great. It's tedious being perched up here all day trying to scare crows who can't be scared. Well, why don't you just leave then? I, I, I can't. I have this, this pole holding me up. If you could take it away, I'd be very thankful. Well, I suppose I can lift it up here and then... Whoa! Are you all right? I'm great. Doesn't hurt at all when I fall. Look, I can walk. Watch me. Can I walk with you a ways? If you'd like. I'm on my way to Emerald City to see the great Oz, so he can send me back home to Kansas. We'll see Emerald City. And who's Oz? Don't you know? I don't know anything. I'm stuffed. That's where I need brains. Well, maybe you can ask him for some. Do, do you think he'd give them to me? I don't see why not. And even if he doesn't, he won't be any worse off than you are now. That's true. Well then, I'll come with you. Oh. Are you all right? Just a little wobbly. Nothing to worry about. Bye, crows. Wish me luck. I won't be bothering you anymore. Give my best to the farmers. Oh, wait. It's this way. Right you are. I'm going to love having brains. crow teasing me. Sooner, but I just couldn't think what would make such a strange noise. Do you suppose that if I journey with you, Oz would give me a heart? I suppose it'll be as easy as giving the scarecrow brains. Well then, you should come with us. We would love to have you along, but first, I really must get some sleep. Of course, of course. How thoughtless of me. We can keep watch together. Thank you, and good night again. How did you rest so badly? I know I'm rather stupid, but I didn't even know there were creatures entirely made of tin. It's all because of love. That's why I do anything for a heart, because I long for happiness. That's worth more than brains to me. You rested for love? I rested because I got caught in a rainstorm. I'm confused. I know. It's coming out wrong. A little more oil. Ah, thank you. 
I learned to be a woodchopper from my father, but unfortunately, he passed away. And so, left on my own, I went and found a beautiful munching girl who loved me back. Oh, what bliss it was to feel love. But she lived with an old woman who wanted to keep the girl to herself, so that she's always have someone to cook and clean for her. When the old woman learned of my intentions, she went to the Wicked Witch of the East to prevent the marriage. What happened next? The Wicked Witch enchanted my axe. And so, when I began chopping logs for our house, the axe, it just slipped and cut off my leg. Did it hurt? A, a little. I went to a tinsmith and he fixed me a nice new one. This angered the witch, and so, when I began chopping again, the axe slipped and cut off my other leg. The tinsmith fixed me, fixed me again, then the axe slipped and cut off one arm, then the other, and then he chopped me clean in two. Whoa! The tinsmith fixed me every time, but I lost my heart, and so I no longer cared whether or not I married the munchkin girl. She still might be waiting for me, but without a heart, what can I do? Poor girl. So, I don't like to worry about chopping myself. I had to be careful to always keep an oil can nearby. One day, I was so busy chopping, I didn't notice the clouds darkening. I didn't think to stop as the rain started plopping down. By the time I noticed, it was too late. I had many months to think about what I'd lost and resolved. If I could only have a heart, I could know love again and be happy, because I was never so happy <laughs> as when I was in love. Are you crying? Don't do that. you rest. Here. Thank you. I'm sure the Wicked Witch never counted on good people finding me. I've never met a witch myself, but I think Dorothy has. Are you two talking about witches? I'm just telling Scarecrow about the Wicked Witch he's put me in this predicament. What's wrong? Nothing. Well, you see, I'm wearing her shoes. What? Yes, when I landed here, my house fell on her and squashed her. A good witch gave me the shoes. Wow, you must be a very powerful girl. I imagine the great house would do wonderful things for us if you possess those shoes. We won't know until we get there, and I don't think I can sleep another wink. Everyone ready? Lead the way. To the Emerald City. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard. stop and chop down some of these trees so sunshine can reach us. I don't think that's a very good idea. These trees seem different from the few I'm used to in Kansas. Maybe we've gone the wrong way. Let's turn back. We can't have made a mistake. We're still following the yellow bricks. Right. Whoa. Why didn't you walk around that? I just never think to. <laughs> do, you, do you think there are any wild animals here? Most likely. But worry not, the Scarecrow and I are not easily hurt, and you'd rather kiss a good witch, so no one will dare hurt you. Do you really think it'll work? I hope so. You just have to look out for Toto. I'm not sure he can defend himself. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? You mean Toto fighting with the tree? No, it's talking about something was running through the trees. Roar! you a coward. You're huge. You should have much smaller creatures to pick on. I was born this way. I'm supposed to be the king of the beasts, but I roared to protect myself, not to cause any actual harm. When I heard that you guys were coming, I thought you guys might be after me. Why? <laughs> because I'm a coward. I thought I could scare you before you scared me. That's not right. I know. I'm so unhappy. Whenever there's danger, my heart beats so fast, I, 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 I can hardly stand it. Perhaps you have heart disease. Maybe so. <laughs> you should consider yourself lucky again, because that proves you have a heart. Maybe. I have no heart, so I can't have heart disease. <laughs> Maybe I would have courage without a heart. Do you have a brain? I guess. I've never checked to see. 
I'm going to the great house to ask for some, because my head's stuffed with straw. I want a heart, and Dorothy wants to go home to Kansas. Maybe he could give me courage. And you won't know unless you ask, and it might be nice to have you along to scare away other wild beasts. Quite right, and if they run off, it shall mean they're more cowardly than you. Perhaps, but as long as I do not have courage, I will always be unhappy. We should keep moving. The little light we have will be gone soon. Everyone ready? We're off to see the wizard. Did, did, you, did you hear that? What? what? Uh, I, I guess it was nothing. We're off. What, 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 what about that? Would you relax? I, I'm sorry. It's just we're entering the part of the country where the, 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 the Kalilas live. The Kalilas? No one's panicking. But, but I think we're being followed. But, 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 but what? I, I think I can see something. I can't tell if it's a, a bear or, or a tiger or... It's or a Kalila! Run! The claws are long enough to rip us in half! You and Dorothy run. I'm not afraid. I'll stay too. If they rip me in half, I can always be sewn back together. <laughs> thinks that Witcher seems to be a strange magic here. Strange magic? I don't see any strange magic. Just pretty flowers. <laughs> Why, they are pretty and so many colors. Pretty and bright, pretty and bright. The flowers are oh so pretty and bright. Sweet, sweet and light, light. sweet and light. The, the flowers are oh so pretty and light. light. Sweet and bright. What are you doing? I think, I think I can just place the Emerald City from here. Hurry up, let's go. It's a spell, but with all our tin and straw, we can't feel anything. Make them keep moving. Such, Such a delight, so pretty and bright. I want to stay here forever. Flowers for beds, flowers for our heads, flowers for lunch and dinner. What should we do? Come rest your heads on our petals of red, sweet dreams through the night. Waking up would be a cry, so stay with us forever. We have to do something. Come I can't carry them the entire way. The singing is driving me crazy. Sweet dreams That's it. We have to night. sing too. No Waking way. We have to make them listen to something other than those flowers. They can remember. We have to keep moving. Only if I had a brain, I'd be of more help. That's an idea. Love, courage, brains, and kids. Love, courage, brains, and kids. Love, courage, brains, and kids. Hey, Lion. Hey, Dorothy. Love, courage, brains, and kids. 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 Whoa. What happened? I feel all confused. It must be a spell still. But if we can reach the Emerald City, I'm sure you'll feel better. I hope so. I have a terrible pounding in my head. Hurry up, let's go! Do you wish 
Toast and the Emerald City. I'm here to see the Great Oz. You're here to see the Great Oz. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't let you do that. Why not? It has been many years since anyone asked me to see the Great Oz. But don't people ask for things all the time? He is powerful and terrible. And if you come to on an idol of foolish Aaron, he will destroy you all in an instant. But it's not foolish or idol. We've been told Oz is a good wizard. So he is. And he rules the Emerald City wisely and well. But to those who are not honest, or who approach him out of curiosity, he is most terrible. And if you have ever dared ask to see his face. We simply must see him. Since you demand it, I must take it to him. Here, put on these spectacles. <laughs> Why? Because if you did not, the brightness of the Emerald City would blind you. Even the citizens must wear them day and night. They were all locked on. For so odd order when the city was first built, and I have the only key that will unlock them. Everyone snug? Please, follow me. <laughs> I've only ever seen emeralds in pictures. They're everywhere here. I've long heard of the riches of the Emerald City, but never dreamed of such brilliance. A person could do great things here with a brain. I like this city immensely. Roar! Lion! I, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Stop here. We must firmly tell Oz of your presence, although I'm sure he's been aware of your journey for some time now. Why didn't he help us immediately then? Do not ask such foolish questions. <laughs> what is your wish? These strangers demand to see the great Oz. Step inside and make yourselves comfortable. I'll take your message to him. Good luck. I must leave you here. If you see the wizard, consider yourselves very lucky. Many of us have gone our whole lives without such an occurrence. Thank you for your help. Man, I wish I could take these glasses off, squeezing my ears. There are certain advantages of being made of tin. I can't feel them at all. Shh! Someone's coming! Oh my gosh, there's a big animal in here. Why would Oz allow a dog to be in here? <clears throat> Here they are. Such a curious group. Hey, we can hear you guys. Are you really going to look upon the face of Oz the Terrible? <laughs> yes, of course, but why is he called Terrible? <laughs> you will see. He is all things. And none. Huh? He will see you, but he does not like to be asked. I hear it's the ruby shoes getting them in. I hear it's the mark on the girl's forehead. Do you know what you see in his throne room? Of course not. We've never been here before. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, poor dears. The terrible Oz can appear as many things. I, I, I don't like this. I've heard he seems the shape of a pretty lady. I, I can handle that. <laughs> ah, but I hear he's a ball of fire so hot he singes your eyebrows. I, I cannot abide fire. I hear that the great Oz is just ahead. <clears throat> Terrifying. If none of you has ever seen him before, how do you know these things? Rumors. Keep your head. No reason to panic. We're not suggesting that at all. Just remember what you want. And how much you want it. We will. Just let us alone. <laughs> <laughs> the great Oz will see you now. You must enter in darkness. My hand? Mm, my axe is ready, if need be. I think, I think someone's coming. <laughs> I am Oz, the great and powerful. Who are you and why do you seek me? Well, One at a time! Where did you get those ruby slippers? From the Witch of the East. When I came to this country, my house landed on her and killed her. And the mark on your forehead? The Witch of the North kissed me when she showed me the yellow bricks and told me to come find you. What do you seek from me? I want you to send me back home to Kansas, where my auntie Am and Uncle Henry are. Your country's beautiful, but I don't like it nearly as much as home, and auntie must be quite worried something's happened to me by now. How did you come to be here in Oz in the first place? A cyclone carried me here. Please, I don't know how I'll get home without your help. Hmm. 
Well, you killed the Wicked Witch of the East. But that was just an accident. I didn't mean to. Enough! Who are your companions? Pardon me, but there's no reason to yell. And you have no right to speak to me in such a way. You are? I'm just a, just a scarecrow stuffed with, well, straw, of course. And what do you wish from me? I'm only stuffed with straw, and I've come to you praying that you will put brains in my head so I can become as much as a thinking man as anybody else in your domain. And why should I do this for you? It is the same as this for me and Dorothy. We have no one else. And you, in the silver? Uh, I am a woodman made of tin. Therefore, I have no heart and cannot love. I pray you give me a heart so I may be as other people are. And why should I give you a heart? Because I ask it, and you alone can grant it. I see. And you, the lion? I, I, I am a cowardly lion, afraid of everything. I, I beg for your courage, so that I may truly become the king of the beasts. You don't have to ask why. You only know that you can grant this request. I see I am the last resort for each of you. I, I will give, give you all my answer. answer. You, you have, have no right, right to expect me to give you all the things, things you desire, unless you do something for me. In this country, everyone must pay for everything they receive. If you wish me to use my magic powers to send you home again, you must do something for me first. Help me and I will help you. What should we do? Kill the Wicked Witch of the West. We can't do that. And why not? You kill the Wicked Witch of the East, and you bear those ruby slippers which bear a powerful charm. And your companions must be quite resourceful for you to have survived this far. This is awfully unfair. I've never killed anything. Willingly. And even if I want to, how could I kill the Wicked Witch? If you're so great and terrible, why don't you kill her yourself? I, I do not know, but that is my answer. <laughs> Until the Wicked Witch is dead, you will not see your aunt or your uncle again. Remember that the, the witch, witch is wicked, wicked tremendously wicked, wicked, and ought to be killed. How should we find her? She resides in the land of the Winkies, where she has enslaved all of her subjects. And if we do not do the things you have asked? I am willing to give you the biggest, kindest, most loving heart in all the world. I will give the lion all the courage he desires, and stuff the scarecrow's head with brains, and Dorothy will be able to see Kansas again. But none, none of these things, things will happen if you do not, not kill the witch. witch. Why, you... Enough! Stop. You know what you must do now, leave! I will not see any of you again until your task is completed. courage, and I'll never have my brains, and I'll never feel heart beating in my chest again, and I'll never see my family again. We have to try then, although I'm much too cowardly to kill a witch. I'll come too, although I don't know, I don't know how much help I'll be as I am such a fool. I have the heart to harm even a witch, but of course I'll come with you. We should get started at once. Look, here comes the guardian of the gate. Excuse me. Is it true you gave the her face of Oz? Yes, but we don't have much time to talk. Can you lead us out and show us which road will lead us to the Wicked Witch of the West? The Wicked Witch of the West? Why would you ever want to go there? Oz commands it. There is no road there. No one ever goes there. So how should we find her? You don't find her. She finds you. Once she knows you're in her land, she'll <coughs> capture and make you all her slaves. <coughs> Here we are at the gates. <coughs> Keep to the west where the sun sets, and you will find her. Good luck. Thank you for your help.
mine is hearts, and he puts him to work. Wouldn't that scare the Winkies when I come around? But I'll need the help of my winged monkeys. Where is that Winky with my purple cap? Here it is. Got a moment too soon. Strangers are getting closer and closer. Now, my pretty cat, you've helped me twice before. And now I must summon the monkeys for my final wish. Ancient curse of Kayla La, let the jokers come. With wings made wild and the mind of a child, the gold purple cap summons you. We meet for the third and last time. What do you command of us? Four strangers have invaded my land, and I have a strong premonition that they're up to no good. Destroy them all, but save the lion. Him I wish you to carry to me. I'm surprised she does not intend to enslave them all like she did the Winkies. Or simply drive them out like she did the Great Oz. <laughs> keep me company. Otherwise, I'd be very bored, very hungry. I still haven't thought of a good plan yet. Killing the witch, it, it scares me so. Me too. And I'm her friends the Scarecrow and Tin Woodsman. Don't worry, Dorothy. I'll keep thinking. And I'll keep being obedient to the witch so she doesn't suspect a thing. I should go back before she catches me. I'll be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow. 
Dorothy? Dorothy? Oh, you should be twice as far with that pot now. But never mind that. Will you fetch me the salt from that cabinet over there? Summon them. If you hold the power to command them, I suppose we can trust them. I suppose you're right, but I wonder how it works. Guess you didn't leave the instructions lying around. Here, I think there's something written inside. Ancient curse of Kalala, let the jokers come. With wings made wild and mind of a child, the purple cat summons you. <laughs> what is your command? We're on our way to Emerald City, but we seem to have lost the way. We can carry you there. Are you sure about this, Dorothy? I seem to remember the monkeys who dropped me did so with considerable glee. Oh, we must <laughs> obey the command of whoever wears the purple cap. Seeing that it is your friend who surely wants the best for you, I can give you my assurance that you'll lose not a single straw nor a nick in your tin. Well, everyone ready?
Oh my, oh my. I thought you had gone to visit the Wiffy Witch. We did visit her. And she let you go again. She couldn't help it. She melted. Excellent news. Who uh, did the melting? Why, Dorothy, of course. Good gracious. I'll take you to Oz at once. <laughs> There's no one here. Maybe it's a trick. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Why do you seek me? I still don't see the wizard. Where are you? I am everywhere, but to the eyes of common mortals I am invisible. I will now seat myself upon my throne that you may converse with me. We've come to claim our promise. What promise? To send me back home once the wicked wish was destroyed. You promised to give me a heart, and you promised me brains, and, and me courage. Is the wicked witch really destroyed? Yes, I melted her with a bucket of water. Oh, well, uh, how sudden. Well, come back to me tomorrow, for I must have time to think it over. You've had plenty of time already. We won't wait another day. <laughs> Who are you? I am Oz, the great and terrible, but please don't strike me and I'll do anything you want me to. But we thought you were a great beast. No, 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 I was just making believe. So you're not a great wizard? Hush, hush! If you speak so loudly, everyone will hear and I will be ruined. I'm supposed to be a great wizard. And aren't you? No, I'm just a common man. You're more than that. You are, you are a humbug. Correct, you are. But this is terrible. How will we get the things you have promised us? My, my, my friends, don't think of these small things. Think about the great trouble I'm in of being found out to. How does no one else know? You see, I rarely see my subjects, so they must think I'm something terrible. And I was able to fool them once, so I thought that I could fool them forever. But how did you appear as a great beast? It was all tricks, no magic, I assure you. And your voice? How did you make it come from all different places? I'm a ventriloquist. I can throw my voice wherever I please. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I am. But it was the only thing I could do. You see, I used to live in Omaha. That's close to Kansas. That is Kansas. Anyway, I was studying to be a balloonist, and I went up in a great hot air balloon. But the ropes twisted and broke, and I couldn't come back down again. I stayed up there for a whole day and night, and then I landed in this beautiful country. And everybody thought I was a great wizard, so I decided not to disappoint them. I think you're terrible. Oh, well, I'm a good man. But the terrible wizard. I hardly even know how you call yourself a good man. You lied to us. Yeah. Why'd you have to do that? You could have gotten us all killed. You better give us the things you promised us. Well, I, I see what you mean, but I don't know how I can help you. I beg your pardon. I'm just a man, as I said. Listen, buddy, we didn't do this all as a favor. I know, but... Uh... You suppose we could never complete our task, is that it? Well, if that's so, you better work extra hard to give us the things you promised us. Now! But I... He said now! <laughs> I, I guess I could give you brains. Maybe that's not it. Here we go. Yeah, you have brains. I don't know how you could use them, but that is up to you. How do you feel? Quite wise. If I get used to these brains, I feel like I could know everything. Are those needles sticking out of your head? That proves he's sharp. Now it's my turn. Well, courage you already have plenty of. It is self-confidence that you lack. Courage is when you stand up for something even when you are afraid. And that you have plenty of. You aren't backing out of your promise, are you? No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, drink. Well, what is it? If it were inside you, it would be called courage. As you know, courage comes from within you, so it cannot be called courage until you are swallowed. How do you feel? Bursting with courage. And you are next, I suppose? Truly, I am ready for my heart. I think you are very wrong in wanting a heart. It has made so many people very unhappy because of it. 
Well, that is a matter of opinion. Now I'll bear any unhappiness without a murmur. All right, here you go. I hope this doesn't hurt. There, you have a heart that anyone will be proud of. Is it a kind heart? Very. Thank you. You have redeemed yourself in my humble eyes. And now, there's you, I suppose, Dorothy? I just want to get back to Kansas. <coughs> well, I'm not sure about Kansas because I have no notion to where it lies. But the first thing to do would be to cross the desert that surrounds this entire country. How should I cross the desert? Well, you came in in a great cyclone, and I a hot air balloon. So I believe that air is the best way of travel. And since it is not in my power to make a cyclone, I guess we'll have to make a great hot air balloon. You would do that? Certainly. Can I help? Of course. It should be strong enough to hold the both of us. You're coming with me? Well, I love this country, but I just want to see Omaha again. We shall start the building today. Uh, are you sure about this, Dorothy? Yes. The wizard gave you each what you wanted, didn't he? I can always try it out. If I fall out, I can always be stuffed with new straw. No, I trust Oz. True. But you still might need a few drops of courage before you get in that thing. Dorothy, the balloon is almost ready, and we have a long journey ahead of us. Oh, how can I say goodbye to each of you? I fear I'll cry so much, my jaws will rush shut. No, you have to find that girl you want so in love with now that you have a heart again. And Scarecrow, I'll select you to rule in this place now that you have more brains than anyone. Really? Yes, to make a great leader, just like you, Lion. Dorothy, the ropes can't hold much longer. One minute, let me just find Toto. Where are you, Toto? We're lifting up. Goodbye. No, wait. Come back. Come back, you humbug. Stop him. Oh, Dorothy, I can't jump that high. Or I would. I'm, I'm thinking as hard as I can, but, but I don't know what to do. Dorothy, I'm sorry, but perhaps you're meant to stay with us forever. If you could be content living with us in the Emerald City, we can all live happily together. Oh, I'm so glad to have met each of you, but I don't want to live here. I just want to go back to Kansas. He promised! That humbug, if I was ever to see him again. Lion, you aren't helping. What should we do, Dorothy? I don't know. I don't think I'll ever see Kansas again. I think my new heart will break if I continue to see you so terribly unhappy. Maybe you should capture some of the winged monkeys. They can fly us across the desert. Do you really think they would do that? I don't see why not. Well. I suppose I could try. Ancient curse of Kalala, let the jokers come. With wings made wild and mind of a child, the purple cap summons you! You've called us for a second time. What is your wish? I want you to find me home to Kansas. We cannot. Come on. Oh, we belong to this country alone, and we cannot leave it. There's never been a winged monkey in Kansas yet. I don't suppose there ever will be. We'd be happy to serve you in any way that is in our power. What is your final wish? Can you tell me how you suppose I should get home? We cannot, but we may know one witch who might be able to help. Another witch? Her name is Galinda, witch of the South, ruler over the Quadlet. Is she a good witch? Maybe think so. How should I get to her castle? You did not ask for this, but I will bring her to you. Will she like being carried? Oh, there's no need for that. We're just calling her. She has her own method of traveling. Oh! Ah! oh! My child, I'm told that you are in need of my help. My name is Dorothy, and these are my friends, the Lion, the Tin Woodman, and Scarecrow. I see. I'm very pleased. Wow, you're, you're gorgeous. And you look very brave. Ah, uh, well now. Whoa there, Tiger. Bye. <laughs> Dorothy, what is it you desire? My only wish is to get home to Kansas. Plus your heart. Oh, where did you find the shoes you wear upon your feet? From the Wicked Witch of the East. When I landed here, my house fell on her. And the Witch of the North gave them to me. So it is true. You have killed two witches? But I didn't really mean to either time. 
No need to worry, my dear. You have done the land of Oz a great service, and you have gained something which was once very precious to my family. I have? The ruby slippers you wear upon your feet were once my mother's. They were stolen from her by the wicked witch of the east when I was a small girl. And because she wished to protect me, she did not try and fight it. The wicked witch of the east was very powerful. And even as my own powers grew, I've been unable to regain them. So you, my dear, must be very special indeed. Well, would you like them back? Of course not. You have more use for them than I. The shoes you wear will carry you over the desert to wherever your heart desires. If you had known the powers they held, you could have gone back to your auntie on the very first day you came to this country. Really? Then I would have lived my whole life in a cornfield, brainless. And I would have rusted without a heart till the end of the world. And I'd, I'd be cowering in the forest to this day. Oh, you three are the best friends I could ask for, but now that you all have what you desire, I would like to get my wish. The ruby slippers have wonderful powers. One of the curious things about them is that they can take you to anywhere in only three steps, and each step happens in the wink of an eye. Just knock your heels together three times and tell them where you want to go. Then I can return to Kansas at once. I'm so happy, sad, all at the same time. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, I'll miss you. Goodbye, Lion. Goodbye, Dorothy. Goodbye, Tin Man. And oh, I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. Goodbye, Dorothy. Goodbye. Dorothy, if you would give me the purple cap, I will use it to see that each of your friends is carried by the wing monkeys to wherever they wish to go. Oh, of course. I have no use for it now. Well. Here goes. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Toto, Toto, we're back. Look, there's a barnyard and the cows and oh, and out. Uncle Henry, we're home. We're back from Oz. Thanks to um, our greatest teacher in theater ever, Miss Robertson. And uh, and uh, he has been uh, through us the good times, the bad times, and the very, very aggravating times. Yes. So um, that was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he has been a great inspiration to me and all of the people in this class. And uh, I just wanna say thanks to Uncle Wes. Thanks, sir. Thank you, thank you. You guys did a great job, good job, guys. Who <laughs> the Wiggle Witch. Oh, uh, don't be a magnet. Uh, thank you guys all for coming. I uh, hope you had a good time. Um, I do have some thanks uh, as well. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Jason King for helping me out with sound. <laughs> King Louise, uh, who helped me out with uh, all the slideshows and all that stuff. And, uh, and uh, Ed Holtman for filming, you know, Wally. <laughs> and all of the parents who let me keep your kids this week. I know it's been a long week. Uh, we were here most nights until 9, uh, starting at 4. Uh, so there's a lot to be done, but then they worked really hard. So thank you for uh, letting them be here and, and putting in the effort. So uh, we do have uh, to tear it all down, of course. Uh, so we're going to take a few minutes to get photos with all the people who want photos and that sort of thing. 
and then uh, I'll let you know we're going to tear stuff down. Tear down is going to be pretty quick, so hit the likes there, Tim, and uh, there you go, guys. Go, go see people.